to the Detroit Experience. Hey, this is Garu Gavin with Garu Gavin Games saying thank you for clicking on this video. Basically, this is a new video. This is obviously a new thing. Uh, uh, this is Detroit Become Human. It's been out for just over a year. I just wanted to give it a try because it was uh, the PlayStation Plus game of uh, the month. Uh, a little controversy over that from uh, the end of uh, June to the beginning of July about what this game was going to be. But we got it all straightened out right at the beginning of the month. But uh, moving on from that, uh, I wanted to give this game a try. And uh, you see I'm a little bit into it, but just a little bit into it in, in this particular video. This I did, I think, a week and a half, maybe two weeks ago after I uh, first got the, uh, the game. But anyway, uh, I just this is basically my opinion of the, of the game. Uh... I see, though, why this game has did very, very well. The number I'm going to give you is it's going to sound small, but you have to put it into the context of this is the kind of game that it is, number one. This is a different type of a game that normally uh, does not do well at all on anybody's platform, period. Uh, but this game has sold, uh, in the past year that it's been out, it's sold uh, just over two and a half or so almost three million before it was on playstation uh, plus it was around two and a half million total sales before it was a playstation plus game of the month uh right now obviously i don't have any numbers and uh, i'm sure there's people high up in uh in the playstation realm that that do actually have hardcore numbers on where it is today but that number that i gave you was uh, actually as of uh, may 31st that it sold around two and a half, under three million, about 2.5, 2.6, 2.7 million in that area. Uh, so I said, well, that's actually pretty good because this is obviously it's a 100% PlayStation exclusive. It's not on PC. It will never be on Xbox or Switch or anything else. It was, it's not on Steam. That's actually a pretty good amount of uh, sales, unit sell through. Uh, that it's had two and a half million for this type of you know click and go game is kind of rare uh, I mean even in the heyday of PCs with these type of games in the 90s you won't see numbers actually that high uh, one to one and a half million maybe two million on occasion but to have something that's over two million and actually aiming for three million that's actually a completely different story but uh... this game though i see why it's it's done so well it's a very good game first of all let's just go with the aesthetics of it this the the, the beauty of this game is remarkable the the, the realism uh, of this game is unbelievable but with uh, what playstation has been coming out with sony has been coming out with in the last uh, couple of years uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, God of War, Spider-Man, and a host of other, uh, uh, basically, this is not a first party game, because uh, the studio that, that, that makes this is actually an independent studio, but they only make games for the PlayStation, period. This is what their, their people, their, their, the, the owner, basically has said, we only make games for Sony, period. End of that discussion, that's it. So this is, even though it's a second party, this is a first party game, period. Uh, so you, you see what they've been doing, and this is an amazing game. And the concept of it, the plot of it, the story of it, actually makes it compelling. Uh, as a, as a, as a it's, it's very very compelling in its own in this in this genre of you know basically mystery click and play kind of uh, of game uh, it's it's intellectual uh, it's engaging <clears throat> the, the the things the, the nuances the ambiance of it it is a full game and it's a full experience I was honestly surprised I could have got this game a year ago I could have got this game you know six months ago I could have got this game whenever and I said I don't know man I I, I 
immediately when I saw the concept of this of the game, the what kind of game it was going to be, I was like, oh my god! I started, I, I started having cold sweats over uh, the games I used to play in the '90s. In particular, Mist. Mist, as good as the game was, it was just draining to play. Anybody who's old enough to have played Mist, the original Mist, you you understand what I'm saying. But beyond that, though, I, I was like, you know what, this this is, uh, it's not a game for me. I was I wrong? Yes, I was. I was wrong. As normal, I am wrong ninety eight percent of the time. Maybe 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 only ninety seven percent. But moving on from that, uh, but this game is a compelling game, and I say, well, while it's on uh, PlayStation Plus this month. You might want to give it a try. Uh, I'm going to uh, probably make this a pretty short uh, video, but I am going to uh, do a little bit more on this game. I, I might have a continuation of uh, of this a, a in a let's play kind of uh, kind of a thing because this game is I think it's compelling enough and this it's story driven enough that. Uh, you, you, those who are watching now will benefit from from watching the uh, uh, the let's play that I'm planning on doing with this. Uh, this was just my first, and actually, this has been the only video I've made uh, that I've housed so far. As you see, I'm still learning how to play. This is again, v this is day one. Uh, but I just didn't record anything before this. Uh, I stopped and then I re started recording. This is a good game. This is a game that, uh, as I, ca I, I can't say anything else, it is a very compelling game. And it's a very compelling game because of, obviously, again, the beauty of it. The art of this game makes it compelling. But beyond that, when you dig deeper, it is, yes, the game style, the game play, but, be, but there is something deeper than that, and that is the uh, story, the underlying plot of this game makes it more than just compelling it makes it something that I believe that the vast majority of us who play games will probably enjoy this story that they have set a, set up in this game it's it's a, it's actually pretty amazing so uh, my review of this game is go out and get it it's free right now on PlayStation Plus get it it's not gonna hurt you <laughs> It's not going to cost you anything. Just get it, download it, play this right here. I mean, there's a couple of things that happened before this. But uh, play this right here, and I, I believe that you're going to become hooked on the game. I still, I'm playing this game in private. Uh, Television. So, uh, while I'm not playing Warframe or Skyforge or... Stellaris or anything else I'm playing this game because I'm much further along in it now than than uh, than what you're seeing here and actually how am I gonna do a let's play that's I'm gonna have to go all the way back to the beginning I don't know I'll, I'll figure it out but I will get a let's play up before the end of the month so uh, but with all that being said I want to say thank you all for the support that you've been giving me uh, everybody out there thank you no matter if you like me or hate me I want to thank you all because you have helped this channel a great deal so uh, with all that being said again one last thank you there's gonna be a uh, video that's gonna pop up on your screen the upper left hand corner of your uh, screen that's uh, a video suggested by YouTube something that you may like from my uh, video library I have a very extensive library so uh, check all those videos out there's 150 plus videos I don't know I suck out and I care little anymore so uh, check those out and again thank you all and I'll see you all next time uh, Keats is odes it's one of the books he recommended so what do you think well there's a lot of sadness in this <laughs>